I closed my eyes, feeling so exhausted, even as my entire body hurt. The last thing I remembered was getting pulled out of the car by big, strong arms. The first thing I noticed when I woke up was paper under me, the type used in doctor's offices to keep everything clean. My eyes fluttered open, and I was immediately blinded by a light. I groaned. It's okay, Riley, said a voice. You're safe. I immediately jerked awake and looked for the source of the voice. There were two people standing over me. One was a man who looked vaguely familiar. He was wearing a doctor's jacket and was looking at me with concern. The other was a woman from the sheriff's department. I relaxed a little. Where am I? I asked. I tried to sit up and immediately regretted it when my head started to pound. You're at my clinic, the doctor said. You were in a car accident. Do you remember anything about it? I blinked and nodded slowly. Yes, I said. I hit a ditch, I think. The airbag went off and someone helped me out. I looked at the doctor. Was that you? He nodded. Luckily, you crashed right outside of my clinic. I saw most of the accident. I got you inside and called the sheriff's office. He nodded at the officer. The woman smiled kindly at me. I'm Julia, she said. Do you remember what caused the accident? Uh, I closed my eyes, trying to think. There was a car in front of me, going the wrong way, I think. Were they going the wrong way, or was I? A horrible thought crossed my mind. Were they okay? Did I hit anyone? No, there weren't any other cars at the scene, Julia said. But there was a car pulled over only a couple of miles from the crash for a DUI. A group of college kids partied a little too hard and were swerving all over the road. They're probably the ones who caused your accident. But if you don't mind, I'd like to give you a breathalyzer test anyway, just to be thorough. And then Dr. Eric here will take a look at you and make sure the airbag didn't cause serious damage. I shook my head. No, I'll do the breathalyzer test. But I can't get looked at. I'm sure I'm fine. It's probably just bruising. I tried to stand up, but as soon as my feet hit the floor, the room started to spin. Eric grabbed me and held me steady. Easy, he said. You need to let me take a look at you. You could have a concussion, or worse. No, I can't. I can't afford it. Then I won't charge you, he said quickly. But I'm not letting you out of here until I know you're okay. Okay. 